the first step in any type of hybrid development is creating the inbreds themselves. If I can find an inbred that's got uh, good standability, uh, good stay green, uh, has good kernel types, has good digestibility all around uh, in the inbred stage, uh, it's going to make the hybrids a lot better. Hard kernel, poor seed set. Here's where you can see there's aborted kernels. Uh, so these actually pollinated back whenever this pollination was made and these aborted back. The plant didn't either have enough water, enough nutrients to keep moving forward. So it's uh, pulling back the nutrients and only filling the kernels that it can. And that's one thing that we like to stay away from because nobody wants to see that in their cornfield. This one, its top came out. I really don't like it if the tops come out of it. That means it has bad uh, disease resistance. So in the 4,000 rows that we have out here, about three quarters of that is um, selection rows. And within that, there's probably 2,500 rows that have unique genetics behind them. We're screening over 2,500 different things just to find different lines to just be able to find the three or four that we need to move forward uh, and have better hybrids uh, later on. There may be three or four rows that have the same genetics. Got it. And so I want to screen all three of the, uh, rows. you know, all, you know, if it's three rows, I want to screen all three of the rows to um, see, okay, there might be a better plant in this row than there is in this plant, or this row over here. And I may only keep this row's plants and not keep this row's plants. It's a game of numbers. It really is. It's, Keeping about 10% every year uh, is important so that these, on these projects don't get too big and two, you only keep the best 10%. So, and that's, that's the hard part is throwing stuff away that you've worked so hard to do.